Our right, top log here, this is on a wall. This is round 14. It had a lot of work had to be done to it because there are four windows and a doorway that will have to be cut out of this log. You can see chainsaw curse there. That will be the top of the window cut out and then it'll be cut all the way down for a five foot window. These windows are 30 by 60. So it'll have to go all the way down and right about in there. You can see I've got blocking underneath the splices. I always block under the splices. And by either side of the window, there's blocking. So those logs will be supported when the, the logs are cut out to make the opening. There's lots of blocking in this wall. While we're here, I'll point out, you can see the, the angle iron slots. It's just done with a plunge cutter with a chainsaw on both sides. And this hole right here is for the anchor rod. I like to bolt the top four rounds together. If you go back to the dovetail log cabin build in my videos, you can see that, what I'm doing with that. That is a six foot piece of half inch all thread that will go through the top plate all the way down through to right here and uh, have that tied together really well. I mean, this is what I've been doing you can see a nail here and a nail here. It's just a little small three-penny finish nail. I'm so high that I had to keep transferring my control all the way from the, the bottom down there. That's a long ways down there. I had to keep coming up and, re and reset so I could use my level to get the top logs back, or the logs I happen to be working on, back on control. We're looking at seawall, which... Dan has finished and they're ready to set. There's only one splice. The, the top plates, both sides, A and C wall, will only have one splice. And Dan is working on A wall. He's working on the bottom notch, cleaning it up. Then that log, once we get it hewed, it'll be ready to set. And that will have us topped out as far as the A and C wall logs go. There will be a half log that will go on B and D. That'll bring D or B wall and D wall, which I'm up against. It'll bring it up even with the top plates. We'll have all of the logs up. There'll be a lot of blocking to go back and to put in. There's one thing while I'm here that I want to point out. We made sure that on A wall, where all the windows and the door is, we did not have a splice over a window because we're cutting out quite a bit of wood. We don't want to weaken this log anymore. But it's, it's going to be strong. We have quite a bit of wood that will be above the, the openings to keep this all tied together. This little bitty hole here, I'm running timber locks. or 16-inch screws on both sides of the doorway. Kind of help stabilize this wall a little bit more. And then I put some more in there. You can probably see quite a few little holes. But some of those are, are anchors that goes down through blocking and into the log below. And that helps to stabilize this long run of logs. This is a, an outlet to get these timber screws. This company was really nice to deal with and we didn't have to wait very long to get them. It's loghomecenter.com. You can see their phone number. And these really do a good job. All right, Dan has the two half logs finished and they're ready to set. And I'll show you what we've done. We've cut all the way across, they're three inches from here down. And we did the same on the half log, or Dan did rather. And we've 
we've cut this out and cleaned it up and it'll sit down in there and we'll run timber locks through it and through the plate log down down into this log and it'll actually probably go down into this one just a little bit those screws are 16 inches long so we'll get the logs up here we'll actually just kind of set them right here and then we'll just have to slide them over and tap them down in their pocket this is the half log for d wall and we're about to set it up on top of the building it'll go right there so hang on we're about to celebrate You get a thumbs up, buddy. <laughs> okay, we've got all of our openings cut out, and sized up, and the angle iron and the sub jams are in. And I'm anchoring the sub jam itself to the angle iron with a power nail that I'm using right here. I'm using a, a ram set gun to shoot those nails into the angle iron, and it seems to be holding really well. I know you probably can't see it, that's two inches in from the inside face of the log and I'll take my chainsaw and I'll cut a groove all the way down the ends of these logs and that will accept the uh, the angle iron I've showed this before but it's been a while so I'll just show you again what I'm what I'm doing how I get this in there Okay, I've got the angle iron slot in from the top all the way down. I've got to do just a little bit of work right down there next to the slab. I didn't want to cut too far down. I just went part of the way into the mud seal. So once I chiseled that little spot out, this will be ready for the angle iron to slide in. And what that will do, that will let the log settle and the sub jam will be anchored to the angle iron. And the logs can go ahead and settle and they have the angle iron in there and it goes up into the header log it keeps the wall straight at that point
Now these screws that I'm putting in are just temporarily in there. It's just snugging everything up against the angle iron so that I can actually make the attachment there. I'll take these screws back out. Okay, this is an early Monday morning. The trusses are about to go up. There's a crane truck here. He just moved the stack of trusses over here where we can get them a little closer and he's gonna get positioned and start lifting these up. Okay, that's the very first truss going up. The gable truss will go over the top of B wall. This will be the last truss going up. It's a gable truss and all of the trusses will be set. Well, I'm finished with the Ozark cabin project. I was contracted to put the logs up and the timbers for the second floor. I appreciate Dan coming down from Pennsylvania to help. There'll be a link to his website and email in the descriptions. From now on, the, con the general contractor will take over and finish this out, but we'll come back and we'll do a complete walkthrough when the cabin is finished and we'll do a video on that. I appreciate you watching this series of videos and stick with us for the next project. God bless you.